just let it run. I'll, I'll explain what's going on. Um, so yeah, so the, the idea is that uh, we are focusing for this specific project on uh, Alzheimer's organoids. Um, and I'm going to show you some of the contact that we have these original tribes. So these are some of the places that we go uh, in uh, close by Manaus. Um, these are some of the tribes that we are working with them. By the way, this is Guarana. It looks like an eye. I like it because it has lots of uh, neuroactive compounds never, never studied before. We just know the one that keeps you awake. But there's tons of other molecules in there. Um, so these are the plants that contains uh, the DMT. Uh, these are the things that they do. So they don't only collect and, and, and make a tea. There's lots of things. So this is the EEG cap that we are placing on them so we can uh, measure how they do it. This is the tiny origami robot uh, produced in Japan. We create like a swarm that uh, flies to the Amazon. We try to parachute them, but they were getting into the trees, so it didn't work. Um, so they, for a while, they just fly through, and uh, they have this uh, uh, AI recognition that tells exactly when are the plants. Um, so once we collect it, purify um, at UFUN, these are like checking the docking on the neuronal receptors bring it back to San Diego. We are testing those into uh, the brain organoids before they go to the space station um, and making sure that they are working as supposed. And again, I mean, this is uh, the, the project that will go into a SpaceX rocket, go to the space station, um, and I'll show you exactly how we uh, prepare um, to measure that it, inside a cube like that. Each one of these cubes contains um, many pieces. The pieces have like a tower that contains microfluidic chamber. Now the electrodes are squishing the organoid so we can measure the electrical activity while they are in space. And we can inject the neuroactive drugs to see how much uh, they become neuroprotected or not. Um, so we, we can visualize um, all of that uh, in uh, naked eye. But you can also have three-dimensional microscopy to see even neurons inside of uh, the network, how they are, um, they are behaving there. So we think that this is a kind of a project that we cannot do it using like a single box, uh, the autonomous box. It requires an astronaut to do it. And we have uh, been in touch with uh, different astronauts, um, but the problem is that it, it is almost like asking someone to perform a neurosurgery in someone by just telling them what to do. It's very hard for an astronaut to follow the instructions for Earth for them to do. And because of that, we are teaming up with other nations to create the first cohort of scientist astronauts.